Sometimes living in a small town is like living in a cage. And you're the endangered species everyone has paid admission to gawk at. Maybe if anything exciting ever happened here, people would actually have something else to do besides stare at me. What do you expect? This town gets psyched over an election for sheriff. Duh, he's the only one running. Of course he's gonna win. I'm not the most interesting thing in town anymore. There's a devil standing on my tail, but I don't have to be to him. And there's an angel that is tempting me to fail. Okay, just, just calm down. Guys, listen. Okay, let's start again. No, 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 no. You have to listen to me, seriously. In a minute, Caitlin. Now, when was the last time you saw him in the truck? I, I was headed to the zoo. Uh, I pulled off the 15 to fuel up. Didn't notice anything then. Uh, but w when I went into the diner for lunch... You guys, you... seriously. In a second, Caitlin. So, about how large is this animal? Uh, Houdini's about... Uh... Seven feet long, uh, maybe 400 pounds. Yeah, and he has a big black mark on his nose. What, you saw him? Saw him? I practically had a conversation with him. Well, where is he? Well, he was right out back, but I didn't exactly stick around to find out where he was headed. Okay, look, I'll get Garth up on the radio station and tell him to broadcast a warning. Okay, well, make sure you tell them that if they encounter the bear, not to stare into its eyes or provoke it in any way because it could attack. Oh, and we'll also have to put up those bear warning signs so everyone knows. Let's go back to the clinic. We'll grab some gear and looks like we're going to have a busy day ahead of us. You saw a bear? I don't believe it. I've lived here my entire life. I've never seen anything. New kid. Dumb luck. That was Garth. He's over at the ranger station with the bear cage. Oh, okay. I'll meet him there. We'll set up the cage in the woods. If he's a bear, that's where he's headed. You can't cage a bear. Yes, I can, Caitlin. It's part of my training. No, that's not what I meant. If you cage Houdini, they'll just put him back in the zoo. And your point would be? I read that animals in captivity have shorter lifespans. Why don't you just let them live in the forest? Problem is, he's more than likely going to go back into town. Wait, how do you know? Because bears like him need 90 pounds of food a day. Houdini can't forage for that much. We could teach him. You're really not from around here, are you? He's a bear, not a pet dog. Look, I believe that wild animals should be free, not kept in cages. Excuse me? Bandit was wild? Yeah, but Bandit chose to stay with me. And if he wanted to be free, I'd let him. I think that Houdini should have that same choice. I should know. Around here, I don't seem to have any. I'd like to get all these posted before dark, Rip. What? Don Anderson's running against me. It's interesting. Interesting, that's all you can say? This changes your whole campaign, Dad. The Andersons are one of the oldest families around here. Everybody knows him. Everyone knows me. I am the sheriff, Griff. Look, Don's always pulling this kind of stuff. He doesn't really want to be sheriff. He just likes to do things to mix things up now and then. Don't underestimate him. He's just like Eric. When he wants something, he'll do anything to get it. Okay, we have your annual barbecue coming up, but that's not gonna be enough. We have to think big. Here, I'll finish these. You go around town, meet the people, kiss a few babies. I'll call up the paper, they'll Look, send over to Look, our campaign will have to wait. 
The town's safety is more important than some photo op. With that attitude, you could lose your job. With your attitude, we could lose the bear. Come on. Gar, put the tranquilizer gun down, please. You're making me nervous. Sorry. All right, so how does it work? All right, the bear comes, gets the bait, which then trips this wire, releases the pin, the door comes and closes. You satisfied? Yeah, well, at least he won't get hurt. Okay, Garth, come on. But it's still not the same as being free. Fact. Number of traffic violation warnings in High River up. Number I don't believe it. Income producing traffic citations down. Number of discontented citizens <laughs> way up. What are you doing? I'm exercising my democratic right. Number of juvenile delinquents in High River up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Lowe can barely control his own family. Vote for a man who sees the future and get a big foam hand. Absolutely free. Absolutely free. Come and get it. You're just trying to buy votes. So? Promotional merchandising is huge. But you wouldn't know that. Your dad's whole campaign is minor league. Barbecues. <laughs> That's impressive. Vote for Don. Don't get con. All right. So you can play at this game. It just looks like sabotage, Bandit. But we're really helping. Take this food far away from here, because the last thing I want is Houdini getting caught in that. It's the right thing to do. We both know it. some food and every day I'll leave a little less that way you can learn to forge without starving how's that sound without you. Oh, but we were racing and he won. Well, forget about the racing. I want you two to stick close to home until that bear is found. 
I'm serious. You haven't caught him yet? No. Hey, um, what do bears eat, anyway? Well, lots of things. Berries, fish, and if they get a taste for it, whatever human food they can find. Why? Oh, no reason. Just curious. Okay, people, now what we need is a campaign slogan we can use against Eric's Smear Jim campaign. Griffin, honey, do your homework, please. Uh, actually, Mom, I was looking for a slogan with the name Jim in it. Griffin, I was using Jim Lowe for sheriff when you were in diapers. It worked then, it'll work again. How about Jim is sheriffic? We are not using sheriffic. How about the low man for the high job? How about vote Jim, the bear hater? How about vote for Jim, Caitlin, be quiet? How about you be quiet, vote for Jim? Caitlin, I don't hate bears. I just want what's best for Houdini. Oh, then you'll be happy to know that he's safe and sound in the woods eating ants. Wait a minute. Have you seen Houdini? Maybe. Where? Look, it, it doesn't matter. He's fine. He has food now. You fed him? Caitlin, I can't believe you did that. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? People get killed that way. Caitlin, where did you see the bear? Why should I tell you? You'll just cage him. That's right, and you know why? Because that's his job, okay? He's trying to win an election here. Catching this bear could send him over the top. This isn't some PR stunt. This is about serving the county. Caitlin, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where did you see that bear? Listen, telling you would go against everything I believe in. Look, I know what it's like to be locked up and stared at. I'm not gonna let the same thing happen to Houdini. Fine, do what you have to. First thing tomorrow, we do a search by helicopter. And Caitlin, you are gonna stick with Griffin. What? No way, no, I have campaigning to do. I don't need any traitors with me. Yeah, and I don't wanna be with someone who supports caging wild animals. Then I'll drop you off at the sheriff's office. Maybe Garth has the patience to find out where you saw that bear. I know I don't. Where did you see the bear? I'm not telling you. Okay. How about now? You know, you're not supposed to be sitting there. That's Jim's desk. Jim said that I'm acting sheriff. That means I get the desk. So where's the bear? Nice try. You know, aren't bears part of your religion? <sighs> They're part of Cree mythology. I read that bears stand for courage and strength. They can. Aren't they like guardian spirits? Some people say so. When a young warrior goes on a vision quest, they sometimes see animal spirits. Actually, uh, my great-grandfather saw a bear on his. He said uh, that the spirit had talked to him. What did it say? That it would protect him and stay with him his whole life. But the old man was totally superstitious. So you don't believe the bear took care of him? He lived to be 102. <laughs> See? The spirit also told him for you to tell me where the bear is. I'm never gonna tell you. Sheriff's office, acting Sheriff Crowchild speaking. You've seen it. That's great. That's great, Mr. Peterson. I'll be right there, thank you. They spotted the bear a mile from here. It's go time. Hey, Garth. What if Houdini's related to the bear your great-grandfather saw? He couldn't be. Well, how do you know for sure? Because I couldn't do my job right if I knew it was him. And my job is to catch him. Sorry, Garth. Caitlin! Caitlin, this isn't funny. I know, and I said I'm sorry, but I can't let you catch the bear. Caitlin! And 
I quote, he's your number one share, so give Lowe your vote. How you doing in there, Garth? Don't worry, I'll let you out. Just as soon as I know Houdini's far, far away. Oh, and by the way, first rule of law enforcement, never leave your keys unguarded. Oh, Caitlin, by the way, first rule of hostage taking, never lock someone in a room with windows and a walkie-talkie that connects him to Jim. Yeah, and we should close up the Harbaugh Trail, too, just to be safe. Okay? Yeah, all right, let me know. It just doesn't seem fair, you know? She's trying to ruin Dad's campaign. She gets dinner served in her room? I'm campaign manager. I can't even get seconds on dessert. She may be grounded, Griff, but she still has to eat. It's not enough I'm chasing a bear all over the county. I then have to come back to my office and handle eight complaints from stores over lost business and three disturbing the peace calls? Oops. There wasn't any backlash in the polls, was there? Honey, it's a county election. There are no polls. Griffin, I don't know how to say this, but please, please don't help me. I know what I'm doing. But I have a ton of ideas, strategies, promotional giveaways. None of which I need. I've won this before, and all it takes is for me to throw my annual barbecue. It's amazing how connecting one-on-one -on -one with people does a lot more than some silly gimmick. Of course, it looks like I might have to cancel this year. I can't be flipping burgers while there's a bear on the loose. Then let me do it. You already bought all the food. Please. I'm sorry, Griffin. Now's not the time. While your mom and I are out looking for Houdini, you're to phone people and let them know it's off. Dad, you need this barbecue. Griffin, no barbecue. Where do you think you're going? Out. Out to feed the bear? I don't think so. You're grounded. Come on, Griffin. He must be starving. I haven't fed him for two days. That's exactly why Mom and Dad are going to go catch him. Well, wait a minute. I mean, what's the food for? I thought your dad said no barbecue. Yeah, but the way I figure it, Dad's going to catch a bear in an hour. He'll be back. Barbecue's still on. He'll be man of the year. So give me a hand. we got a lot to do. Wait, now. And uh, why would I want to help your dad get elected? Because think of the alternative. Don Anderson, the father of Eric Anderson. I know he's not your dad, but he's family, your guardian. If you don't help, he'll be your unemployed guardian. All right. But I'm not chopping onions. Of course. What? Oh, no. Eric. Man, I must have just missed him. You are the worst criminal in the world. All right, Anderson. Game over. Why don't you just come out? You were going to be so sorry. Up. That's what happened. Wait, Houdini? Houdini did this? Yeah, Houdini. Thanks to you, I was almost a part of his lunch. Why is it every time an adult says something, you automatically think they're wrong? Well, this time they weren't, and you messed up big. And you know what? I think you know it. What's wrong? Tell them, Caitlin. The bear. It was here. I tried to attack Griffin. Honey. Are you okay? Yes. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right, I guess. Where's the bear now? He took off. Yeah, he probably went back. 
went back. Where? I, I don't know. I... Caitlin! I am not kidding around. Okay. I'll show you. All right, now where do you usually put the food? Over there on that log. Here, Houdini. Here, boy. Treats. Here, Houdini. I know this is hard for you, but this is the best thing for Houdini. He can survive by himself in the wild. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Houdini. Look at him. He hates it. Wish there was another way. Maybe there is. What was initially a tight race turned into an overwhelming victory for Jim Lowe as he was the third turn. Hey, coming up with the idea of moving Houdini into the animal refuge instead of putting him in the zoo swayed a lot of voters. Thanks. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You would have won on your own. You're the best sheriff this town's ever had. Yeah. I just helped with the landslide part. <laughs> I thank you too, Dory, and so does my great-grandfather. I got it. Next election, we'll let a circus elephant loose. You <laughs> capture it, bring it back. Griffin, there's not going to be a next election. What? You're retiring. No, you are. <laughs> Unless you want to work for Don Anderson, your days as campaign manager are through. Hey, this calls for celebration. Burgers and fries all around on me. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, I'm treating for dinner. You interested? I guess I can afford it now that I still have my job. Yeah, please. Hey, Jim. Congratulations. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Sometimes doing what you think is best for someone isn't always the right answer. You have to look at what they need, not necessarily what they want. And although I can't speak for Houdini, I know that for me, I'm still trying to figure out the difference.